Hello all. So in the first lecture we have seen uh, the different types of users that are supported by a DBMS. So we have seen different actors on the scene and workers behind the scene. So in this lecture we will see about database languages and interfaces. So these languages and interfaces are required to support those uh, category of users. So you will be seeing the different languages and also different kinds of interfaces that can be used by different uh, types of users. So first we will see about uh, DBMS uh, languages. So after the design of database is completed, the first step is to specify the conceptual and internal schemas of the database. So we have already seen uh, the conceptual and internal schema in the previous lecture. So we have conceptual schema and internal schema in the three scheme architecture and also we have an external schema and we have already seen that uh, data independences should be there. Uh, so in order to have that data independence, data independence means that uh, external schema can be changed uh, uh, without changing conceptual schema and internal schema. Similarly, we can change internal schema without affecting the others. And also we need to change only the mappings between them. So here we have to design the conceptual uh, schema uh, and internal schema of the database. And also we have to see the mappings also. We have to find out the mappings between the two. So there should be mapping to map from one schema to another. So we have to design that mapping also. So uh, here we have uh, in database languages, we have mainly data definition language. Uh, then we have data manipulation language and also we have storage definition language and view definition language. So even though in most of the DBMS, there is no uh, separation between these uh, different languages, almost uh, all the languages, all the commands will be supported by all the DBMS packages. In some DBMS, there will be a separate a DDL compiler. There will be a data definition language compiler. There will be DML compiler and all. So most of the cases, there won't be any uh, spe specific separation between all these uh, four types of languages. Okay. So mainly we have data. We will see each one separately. So we will see uh, about data definition language. So uh, first we will see about data definition language. It is mainly used by the database administrator and database designers to define the conceptual schema of the database. So in order to design the conceptual schema, we have this data definition language. And in certain databases, this data definition language is used to create the uh, internal schema also or maybe the catalog the catalog of the database or the data dictionary of the database is also uh, designed using this data definition language so it is also used to define internal and external schemas also in certain uh, dbms so external schema means the views. So we have already seen it supports different multiple views. So different types of users will have different views. So that external schema, so external views are also supported by DBMS in uh, certain languages, certain DBMS packages. So in C, uh, some DBMSs, there will be separate storage definition language and view definition language. That is, in order to define this internal schema, that is storage definition language will be there. And in order to define this external schema of views, we will have view definition language. So this is used to define the internal and external schemas. So we know, uh, we, as it supports different views of the system, we should have different views of the same database. So that can be defined using this view definition language. Um, most of the cases, all these languages will be in a single package. Then uh, second type of language is uh, data manipulation language. So data manipulation language is actually used by the ordinary users. That is, uh, after the database schemas are compiled and the database is populated with data, then users need to manipulate the database. So maybe uh, if you are using a college automation software, students may need to enter their personal data into the database. 
or students may need to retry the marks, uh, the attendance, the semester attendance or something like that. So if they want to view some data, all this will be controlled by this uh, using the data manipulation language. So it is used to specify the database retrievals and uh, updates. Then we may have uh, retrieval updates, then ins uh, insertion, deletion, modification of the data. Everything is done by this data manipulation language. Uh, DML commands uh, can be embedded in a general purpose programming language. So we can embed this DML languages in some languages like COBOL, C, C++ or Java. Uh, in any languages we can embed uh, all these commands. So it has a library of functions can also be provided to uh, access DBMS from programming. We have separate library of functions also. Then we can have uh, standalone DML commands where we can apply direct queries. So certain people, certain kinds of users will be using this query language to uh, get or retrieve or delete some information from the database. <clears throat> then we have two types of data manipulation language. So first one is high level or uh, non-procedural language. An example for this is SQL uh, relational language. Uh, it is considered as high level or non-procedural language. Here it is they are known as set oriented and specify what data to retrieve rather than how to retrieve it. So in SQL, we will mention only what data we want. So if we want uh, some students whose date of birth falls after 90s, we can simply specify that that need. We need not specify how to retrieve it. So we will simply specify select students whose uh, date of birth is uh, after uh, greater than 1990 like that we will simply specify what data we want to retrieve so that is uh, those type of languages are known as high level or non procedural language it is also called declarative languages then we have low level or non procedural uh, sorry low, low level or procedural language we will retrieve data one record at a time so we here we have to specify uh, how to retrieve it also. So we have some constructs like loopings will be needed to retrieve uh, multiple records and also we need to specify the positioning pointers everything need to be specified. That is we have to specify how to retrieve this data. Here in this case we need not specify uh, how to retrieve we have to specify only what to what is to be uh, done. So that's all about uh, languages. Then we will see about uh, DBMS interfaces. So interfaces are user-friendly interfaces. How that uh, DBMS should be should be interfaced with uh, users. How users can interact with the DBMS. So we have several kinds of interfaces. Uh, first uh, one is standalone query language interfaces. So this will be used mainly by certain type of users like database designers and all. So they will be having a standalone query language. So will be, they will have separate uh, menu kind of thing and they will have to specify that queries in that uh, interfaces. So uh, example is entering SQL queries at the DBMS inter interactive SQL interface. So they will be directly writing the queries in those interfaces and they can uh, do some operations using that. Then we have programmer interfaces for embedding DML in programming languages. So uh, these DML commands, data manipulation language commands can be embedded in programming languages. So this is mainly used by us. So if we want to shop in an e-commerce site or banking software, all those are application programmers. So all these DML languages are DML commands are embedded in those programming languages. Then we have a user-friendly interfaces like menu-based, form-based, graphic-based, and all. So we will see all these interfaces separately. Then we will see about programmer interfaces for embedding DML in uh, programming languages. So we will see about the second type of interface. So we have embedded approach like embedded SQL uh, in C, C++ languages, uh, SQLJ for Java, 
so this is known as embedded approach so all this uh, dml commands can be embedded in those things then we have procedural call approach uh, jdbc odbc connectivity is there in certain programming languages so we can uh, it's like something like procedure call then we have a database programming language approach that is we have separate language for using this so like plsql oracle as plsql it is a programming language based on sql so it is a programming language like c and c plus plus and all we have all this uh, looping constructs all these things will be there if we want to inf uh, in access the data from the database using this plsql languages we can write code and we can uh, get some data from it or if we want to do some updations everything is possible using this plsql so it is a programming language based on that sql then we have several uh, user friendly database interfaces uh, first one is uh, menu based interfaces for browsing on the web so this interfaces present uh, the users with menus so users uh, will submit their requests uh, using the menus so we will have some certain menus and all uh, rather than using some queries and commands there will be menu and we have to click those menus we have to open that pull down all those menus will be there so it is mainly used in web based user interfaces so it is also known as browsing interface then uh, second type of interfaces is uh, form based uh, designed for nave uh, users form based uh, designed for nave users uh, we have already seen nave or parametric users uh, it supports form based interfaces so the, what they do is they will fill out some form entries to insert a new data so if you want to insert new data so if you have used that campus management software for college you will be insert, uh, you will be having a form so when you log in you will get a form you have to type the name there will be a name and a box will be there or you have to specify the phone number and there will be a box for to specify that so those kind of interface it is known as form based interface so you will be filling out some forms to insert new data so then type type of interface is known as form based interface then we have a graphic based interface there where you have a graphical user interface uh, you have to there it displays the schema of the user in a diagrammatic form uh, you will have every queries will be specified using those diagrams and all so uh, gra graphical user interface mainly uh, incorporate both the menus and forms in it so it is a combination it can be considered as a combination of menu and form based interfaces so it's mainly deals with this point and click drag and drop all these things will be there then we have uh, natural language interfaces it is uh, these are requests written in ordinary english so the language uh, what we write uh, will be understood by the system there will be a natural language processor incorporated in the system so automatically all the things that will be written by in ordinary english will be understood by the system so there will be a lang natural language processor and all so it is known as natural language processing then we can have a combination of the above uh, for example both menus and forms uh, can be used for web based data interfaces like that we can have combination of all these type then we have other dbms interfaces like speech as input and output we will specify using speech we will say uh, retrieve uh, the student information or uh, we will say uh, find out the all mobiles which are less than 10000 rupees like that we can have speeches and output can also be delivered in speech format then uh, web browsers are there as an interface we are we are already using all these things in our daily life then there are parametric interfaces uh, those things used by bank tellers there will be some functions keys that will be specified there will be shortcut keys they will be using that shortcut keys to do something so in order to uh, in update the account they will press some f5 or f7 some keys shortcut keys will be there 
then there are interfaces for the database administrator so we have several kind of interfaces like uh, they need to have uh, you create user accounts granting authorization for all these things they have separate interfaces then they will have some separate interfaces for setting system parameters various system parameters need to be set so for that they will have separate interface then they need to change schemas or access path we have already seen what is schema and what is access path and all so in order to change that schema and access path there will be separate interfaces and there are uh, other new interfaces like um, uh, apps for mobile devices nowadays we are people are using apps so almost all the softwares are now in mobile apps like banking software reservation everything is now uh, included in the app so we have apps have those built-in programmed interfaces um, so people can log into the account using that name and password and all they can have limited menu so some limited amount of menu will be provided in their mobile like that things so they can pay bills or make reservations everything is possible so that is also another kind of interface then there is another type of keyword based uh, database searches there uh, it is mainly used in web, web search engines so some keywords will be there based on that we can retrieve information from the database so all these are new interfaces that are provided in our database systems so this is a reference mm, thank you